good afternoon guys and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. Again guys, I don't have a grocery haul for you guys. I will have one on um, Tuesday. We are going to go to the stores. Um, well, we're going to go on Sunday to Jewel and Aldi, but then Valley Produce and Caputo's we're going to on Tuesday just because I told you guys one of his friends that he grew up with father passed away so we went to the funeral however I sort of thought that he was going like later because the way he made it sound was like oh we can go and the thing was too is that my mom had said that she'd go to the grocery stores um and then like I woke up a little bit late today I was actually up I think at nine o'clock but I don't think I got out of bed until about 10 30 but I was awake and like fully like I was on my phone like just sort of <laughs> looking up Christmas music to add to my Christmas playlist so I don't have one of those I just sort of like listen to whatever's on the radio and honestly guys I feel like there are so many songs especially Christmas songs that you miss out on or other versions of popular Christmas songs that you miss out on too because you don't hear them any other way like you only hear like this version of like this song this way versus like other probably the more popular like singers and stuff like that and like so many of the like really old classic songs and I've noticed this across the board like anybody that was a singer in like the 50s and around sort of that time like 40s probably even 30s honestly um because there's even really old like Fred Astaire music that I was like this was all just like redone by other people like a few years later and obviously redone even probably by some people like recently too it's just like music that like especially around in that time like this like every singer it seemed like sang the same song like I have found so many like of like I have probably three versions of like one song I think my funny valentine I have by Frank Sinatra Ella Fitzgerald and Dean Martin all on a playlist <laughs> together because like I said they all like sang the same sort of songs and again some people's versions were more popular than others but it was just like like I said a lot of times it was like the exact same songs I probably actually I grew up listening to Frank Sinatra's version I actually think I like Ella Fitzgerald's version probably the best but like again all of them sort of have their own like like spin on it a little bit that like if I'm feeling maybe a little bit more in the mood like to like listen to maybe a little bit more of a fast paced jazzy version of the song versus like not so I feel like it's the exact same way with Christmas music again like so many of those songs are redone even like again today by today's standards like you could probably again find like Ariana Grande covering like you know songs like that that were probably done by like again Ella Fitzgerald and Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin and um Louis Armstrong you know like again probably back in like the 50s and stuff like that so um and again like modern musicians are re you know still singing those same songs and but like I said it's just like the music that you hear like on like just like I said like a general like Christmas music playlist like on Spotify it probably has all of the same like versions that again I grew up to listening on the radio and they'll they still have on the radio that are like the same stinking versions <laughs> and like I said like every once in a while I'll be like oh that was a different one or like oh I didn't hear that one but again I just I know that like there's other ones out there and again I'll like come across them or hear them but I don't listen to them that often again too like some of them because my mom had a Bing Crosby Christmas um album and it was on record and we I think maybe played it like a couple times at my great grandparents house because I personally don't ever remember growing up and having a record player. I remember them having one and maybe my grandma still had it when she lived at their condo and then maybe got rid of it when she um, moved in with us or maybe again like when we were going through like after both my grandparents passed away their condo. I don't remember like my grandma really having it but I don't remember ever using it. I just remember one time when I first learned what a record was was I was probably like three years old I remember my mom like picking me up and she let me like put the needle on the record and I thought it was so stinking cool that like music came out of it because you're actually gonna see it like when I was little was cassette tapes and you stuck the cassette tape in and you got to see the little thingy spin but like to actually see like the whole thing like move and everything like that and it was just like I don't know I thought it was the coolest thinking thing ever and thought it was so cool that like 
music came out of that and again i don't think we we didn't have one when i was growing up or anything like that but i think my mom played that like a handful of times and maybe she even had like a cassette or something like that of like the same songs that were on that album that were like the vintage like vinyl um and like I said we probably listened to that but like I knew that there was like Bing Crosby songs that I like never heard that version of that song that he sung ever on the radio but I only knew it because like I said I and I know my mom had like my dad had the cassette to one of Elvis's like Christmas like I said we played that one all the time we had the Nutcracker like I remember again having a bunch of like old cassettes and we'd only ever get them out it seemed like when we would listen to like Christmas music like there were other cassettes in there too but I only remember ever listening to them during Christmas time so I'm not too old to remember what cassettes are <laughs> um like that's what I grew up listening to in the 90s we like just got into CDs when I was like probably like again 2000s um and like maybe a little bit before that too because I remember like cd-roms like in general like I still remember using floppy disks on our computer too um because we had an apple um like a macintosh computer and um like I said I remember we had I don't even know if it had like a cd-rom drive honestly I remember it was um floppy disk and it was funny too when we were going through stuff in the attic we found my mom had all of the floppy disks for like I don't know what it was like she would like type stuff up like family newsletter and like send it out like once a year sort of thing but she had like all this stuff organized in there and she's like I don't even think that we could like get this stuff off of these anymore like we'd have to buy like a separate thing because you can't just plug it into a computer anymore there's no slots for sloppy sl sloppy disks <laughs> there's no spot for floppy disks anymore um so like I said I think that you have to like actually get like a like you know like a converter sort of thingy which is weird too because I was looking at computers the other day and um I noticed that a lot of computers and it seemed like gaming computers specifically more the ones I was looking at though so probably not all of them but the same thing too I know with the new Xbox there's another version too where they're taking out the um like the CD-ROM capabilities for it now too. They don't have like, you know, the actual like CD players. Um, and again, that's like the cheaper version I think because it doesn't cost as much money if you don't have to add that component, but then you can only do like digital download stuff. So that was like the same thing too for like the PC. But like we've always had an extra because my dad's um, like the CD-ROM port thingy didn't work on one of his old PCs. And so we had like a plug-in one. So we could always like you know that ever came up you can do that but like i said i know they have that for it i think we probably would have it for um like a floppy disk sort of situation too but i just thought that was hilarious like i said i am that old that i remember like those kind of things <laughs> like um i don't really entirely because i wasn't like I didn't use computers really like if I did anything on the computer I didn't like put the stuff in it like my mom would just be like here you can play a game on here or whatever it was like some you know like educational game or something like that and so like I said I remember doing it but I don't remember like inserting it into like whatever it was because like I said I remember a lot of like the ones I think for our Macintosh was all like like I said I think it was just floppy disks that we had um and that's how you save things too like I said all the stuff that my mom saved was all on floppy disks like it wasn't like a flash drive that you save this stuff on to so that was all for like backups because I think she still saved the stuff like on the computer but she had backups of things um on there and then she had like printer software and I kid you not guys I think the printer software was four floppy disks worth of stuff that was like on it that she obviously had to like download to get the software off of I think it was or something like that and I was like this is crazy I was like you know there was probably like 10 of them in there and four of them I think were like just for printer software which I thought was hilarious um because like nowadays honestly I don't even need printer software to actually use my printer I just have to I think I just have to plug it in I don't I don't know it's been a long time since I actually had to download like or had any of the stuff on there I think honestly it might have just like been a, like you plug it in and it recognizes it like your mouse or keyboard or something like that like it's just you know through the USB port I don't 
remember. I actually have to never download anything, but I don't use my printer very often either. So, <laughs> um, anyways, guys, I forgot where I was going with all that, but yeah, listening to Christmas music. So I was doing that, um, this afternoon and, um, well, I was doing it this morning. So that's why I feel like I sort of got out of bed a little late. There's so many other songs that I feel like I actually like, like, I like the other versions too, I think, because they're not overplayed so much. Like uh, some of the ones, again, I've heard every Christmas for 22 years no 26 years yes i think that is right <laughs> um probably not my like first christmas but they probably played it at my first christmas <laughs> um i forgot how old i was for a second there anyways <laughs> um so like i said it's just like like they're so repetitive i feel like and you just hear the exact same songs over and over and over again and my dad was saying the exact same thing too he's like i miss hearing this song and that song and you know like um and i was like i know like i remember hearing those and then jack like was like he said this the other day too he was like i've never even heard of that song or i've never heard of that song but again it's like so random that you wind up like hearing it on the radio or something like that and that's normally like we just put christmas music on when we're like driving somewhere or whatever or again like some like playlist on something when we're in the living room doing Christmas or something like that.